Hey, how you doing there, eh? I'm just uh, video blogging about just some uh, essays I've been uh, reading. Uh, one of the essays is from a Cardinal Francis Aranese. Um, he's a Cardinal of the uh, Catholic Church. He's uh, just got some opinions which I just kind of thought I'd just throw out there. Um, one of them I thought was very interesting and it's this uh, essay is about the uh, future of Christianity and um, what things we... Uh, what things he predicts Christianity is going to have to do basically to survive into the next uh, next few years. Um, and, and look, I, I suppose look, as a Christian we believe that there, there obviously is a future in Christianity, that, that God has a plan and wants to reveal all that. This essay is very much a very analytical view of basically what has to happen next. Um, it addresses a few issues um, such as world peace not being addressed by the church. And um, basically, we've had like two world wars now, when we're into our uh, into the Gulf conflict now. And um, how has Islam and Christianity responded to the needs of people wanting to understand why is this happening again? Um, a lot of people have questions about why do bad things happen in the world. Now, I know um, our line as Christians is that we believe that uh, this is the result of sin in the world, which you know is a you know something that Jesus died for us to solve these. Um, these these things and, and and I guess uh, you know we haven't seen that fully revealed yet because Jesus simply hasn't come yet and when he does come uh, these things will be basically put to rest because well Jesus is here um, one of the things that he says in the next few years probably the next 10 years or so um, and, and also bear in mind this cardinal is saying that um, there has been there has been like uh uh, polls taken on how people feel like the church could be more effective and addressing peace appears to be a big one and it says here Islam and Christianity should actively promote peace um, uh, says this the second Vatican Council exhorted Muslims and Christians to make common cause of safeguarding and fostering social justice moral values peace and freedom Pope John Paul II on uh, uh, 1994 insisted that religious leaders must clearly show that they are pledged to the promotion of peace precisely because of their religious belief. So that's basically saying no tolerance of Christian involvement or war at all. Um, what's your opinions about that? Uh, comment below. I think it's a really interesting question. Um, I'm just putting that out there, and um, yeah, it's a it's a Catholic um, point of view, but still they're part of part of our body, and um, I think um, perhaps they're bringing up some issues that perhaps the rest of us haven't really thought about. Um, I know that um, it's a bit of a hot topic, the idea of Christianity and Islam working together, and I know. There are some strong opinions about that, but the reality is that, um, yeah, it's we're we're at war right now. I mean, that's a that's a reality. People are dying in conflict, and um, how is the church responding to that? Um, yeah, I'd be interested to see what your comments are down below. Thank you.